Razor. Right, just to uh, reiterate this, this light silver or light saber, silver I guess, light silver in English it will be, it's made in Germany, L100 conducting silver platter conductor uh, is the only thing that I've ever found to work on broken heater lines these days. In the past many 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 uh, things you would get from the shop used to work but these days the light silver L100 is the only thing that works and uh, good luck to put it on. I use good masking tape and I use a um, little stick from a uh, windscreen wiper okay so an old windscreen wiper blade reinforcement stick anyway good luck, good luck with that just tape it off and shake this up really good and put it on a couple of layers maybe two maybe three and uh, it should be okay and I've got a large area to cover it's all been ripped off completely and interestingly this stuff is very good at keeping its potency in fact the more you use of it, so the less you have in it, the more potent it is. The thicker the liquid becomes and the easier it is to apply. So at the beginning you have to really give it a good shake and it's really watery. And then what happens is the, uh, the solvent in it kind of evaporates uh, and uh, eventually you'll have to quite a good lump of silver that you can apply easily. Now I've had this one, the old one, for about a good five years so they don't dry out in the tube or anything like that really really quite good so you don't really need to show you I'm just dipping it in stirring it around and applying it on so here's my new bottle I'm just pouring a little bit of that into the rest of this empty bottle and the bit the chunky bits at the bottom are the most useful becomes it's just you just get a really thick lump of silver right I've done one layer and if you can see it's like a metal sheen all over it how do you know when there's a split in it, or a gap, or in my case, a whole strip that's missing, you saw earlier it was kind of bright yellow. Whereas the, when it has got uh, the metal contact in it, it is bright brown. All right, so now, obviously, the, the strip would be um, silver, right? All right, so I'm going to put another layer on and leave it an hour, and then I should peel it off. Okay, I'm going to correct myself. I'm not going to wait an hour. I'm going to wait probably only about 10 minutes. Because sometimes when you peel things, when it when it's really dry as you, as you peel it, it cracks. So as it's just nearly dry, it becomes tacky. And that's where I'm going to pull it off. And of course, I'm going to, as I peel the tape, I peel it away. Away from wherever. So I'll peel the top one away and the bottom one away from that line. Same with the bottom one as well. Same with this one as well. I remember before on that what that line there I had nothing I put it away from the the line remember it's slightly slightly damp so you can see pulled it away and uh, nice nice lines produced no spillover I used a uh, fresh Pro Deck advanced tape, so I didn't even. I had some in storage, but I didn't even use that. I used a, a fresh roll. That's the results. Of course, do check it afterwards uh, with a uh, what we call these these things, the jurors eyepiece thing. I just saw a slight tiny imperfection there. Maybe why I scratched it with the with the windscreen wiper blade thing. So I'm just going to put a little dab just here. I'm just going to pull the tape straight off. It's a tiny, tiny little, little imperf imp imperfect part. That's it, really. So it should be okay.